No, that's good. That's interesting. Um, can I ask? I've I'm more like social psych orientated, hmm. so I actually don't know. I've only taken like a couple neuroscience papers. So can you explain like the D1 receptor? And I think you briefly mentioned what it's like known for and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, all neurotransmitters have different receptors that they could bind to. Um, so people are probably really familiar with serotonin and like SSRIs or antidepressants. Um, so antidepressants, they are actually acting on the receptor that serotonin can bind to in the brain. Um, so in the case of dopamine, um, dopamine can bind to five different receptors and what's important about the different receptors is the function or the action um, or behavior differs based on which receptor a neurotransmitter binds to so for example um, if one neuron in the brain is sending information to another um, so say that information or that neurotransmitter is dopamine and it binds to a D2 receptor, that would impact someone's movement. So that's really involved in movement. But if it binds to a D1 receptor, then that action would more be reward and motivation or social behavior. Um, so really, you know, you can look at neurotransmitters and like dopamine as a whole is involved in movement, rewards, um, pleasure, motivation, but also each receptor has a different sort of action once it binds to that, um, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I guess like yeah. kind of with um, the reason that I used like the animals that have a genetic modification in the D1 receptor is right now there is no um, pharmacology that is like solely selective for the D1 receptor. Um, so a lot of studies in neuroscience will give an animal or a person um, a a pharmaceutical, a drug um, that affects a certain receptor or a neurotransmitter and then see how it changes their behavior. Um, and a lot of the studies have pointed like, hey, it looks like the D1 receptor is involved in rewards and motivation. Um, but any drug that targets the D1 receptor also targets the D5 receptor and also some serotonin receptors. So although the research like points to it that it's likely the D1 receptor we can't like be certain um because it could also be oh maybe it's a little bit of a serotonin effect because it is also binding to that um so when in our lab you know they um developed or like Bart and um some other people from the Netherlands developed a rat with a genetic mutation so we know that it's only the D1 receptor being impacted not um serotonin the D5 so I didn't do any of the modifying. I, that's beyond my like understanding of actually modifying the genetics. Um, but yeah, that's why I, I use those animals, just because we can look like only at that receptor. Right. So my understanding is you kind of, oh, I can hear a really bad echo. I think it's gone now. Um, my understanding is that you sort of get given this group of rats that have that receptor sort of taken away and then you compare them to normal rats and then look at all those negative symptoms that you were talking about mm -hmm. yeah, yeah yeah so um like when the rats are bred some of them will have like a um, knockdown so reduced amount of that receptor we don't completely remove it um i'm not sure like some of the animals in the lab they have a complete removal of a serotonin um transporter but like when in mine or not mine but like in the d1 mutants they have just a reduction so there's still some function um of the d1 receptor um what we see a lot in the research in terms of the d1 receptor is if you completely knock it out animals really don't do a lot because it is involved in motor motor activity a bit um so it's hard to know if it's like oh they're not moving because of the motor or because they're not motivated to. So um, having that just reduction is really important. Um, and yeah, so in a litter when they're born, the way that they're bred is some have that have that reduction, um, some have a little bit of reduction, um, and then some have no reduction. And so I looked at the ones who had no reduction and then um, the, the highest um, reduction. So to compare, you know, what those control ones, the ones with no reduction, and then the ones with the reduction um, look like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well yeah. I think I've got it down I've got it okay. <laughs>